I'm Dr. Victor Diadio. I'm a vascular surgeon with Virginia Interventional and Vascular Associates, and I've completed over 60 TCAR procedures. Yeah, the carotid artery is uh, an artery in the neck that branches halfway up the neck, and one of the branches goes right to the brain. And if there are blockages in this artery, it can lead to stroke. And so the tighter the blockage, the higher the risk of stroke. And so when the blockage gets severe enough, we treat the artery either surgically or with stenting. The newest and one of the most effective treatments of carotid artery stenosis is TCAR, which stands for transcarotid artery revascularization. This is a combined surgical and endovascular treatment. Um, it's a small incision at the base of the neck and through that incision we access the carotid artery below the blockage. Once the artery is accessed, we're then able to reverse the flow in the carotid artery. And so when we place a stent, if anything embolizes from the area of stenting, it embolizes out of the patient rather than up to the brain, which obviously would cause a stroke. It's worth noting since February is heart month that there's a very high correlation of coronary artery disease that is heart blockages with carotid artery disease and so the vast majority of patients who have carotid stenosis also have some type of coronary stenosis. Um, the modifiable risk factors are things that a patient with his doctor can fix to improve their cardiovascular health and these are things like stopping smoking, treating diabetes, managing hypertension and high cholesterol, managing your diet appropriately, and exercising. 